Hey sixth graders, welcome to today's video tutorial and we are moving on to 2.4. Chapter 2 is fractions and decimals and more specifically section 4 is adding and subtracting decimals. Hopefully this is a little bit of review for you. I'm guessing you've seen a little bit of this in fifth grade. Our learning target is I can explain how to add and subtract decimals. Okay. Key idea for today, moving on. Um, it says to add and subtract decimals. Okay, to add and subtract decimals. Write the numbers vertically. Vertically. And line up the that would be decimal points. Then bring down the decimal point and add or subtract as you would with whole numbers. Okay, so lining them up vertically. Remember, vertical means up and down. Um, the word for side sideways is horizontally. Okay, but we're going to line them up uh, vertically. Um, with the decimal points. Okay, so let's see what that looks like in a problem. We've got, for example, one add 8.13 plus 2.76. Okay, well, for this one, it's not too hard because they both have um, three places. Okay, so this one isn't going to be too tricky. 8.13 plus 2.76. I'm lining them up vertically and just add like you normally would with whole numbers. So 3 plus 6 is 9, 1 plus 7 is 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. Okay, and what we need to do with our decimal is bring it straight down in our problem. So we had um, two digits and then the decimal, two digits and then the decimal. So I'll do the same here. Two digits, bring my decimal straight down. So my answer would be 10.89, or um, the correct way to say that, I guess, would be 10 and 89 hundredths. Okay, box my answer. And um, just to double check, let's just see if we were to estimate these, what would we get? Well, $8.13 uh, would be close to $8.00 plus two dollars and 76 cents well we'd round this up to three dollars eight plus three would give me 11. am i close absolutely okay so that is a reasonable answer for letter b now you'll notice that we've got some um, we've got different amount of um, place values so in the first problem here we've got one, two, three, four digits. And in this number, we only have three digits. And in the first number, uh, we've got a number in the ones place. And here we've got a number in the one and tens place. So um, the biggest thing to remember is that you need to line up your decimals. So my first number is 1.459. And I need to add to that 23.7. Okay, well, I need to line up my decimals. So I'm going to kind of work um, backwards here. So there's my decimal. And then I have my 3 and my 2 in front of that. And then I've got a 7. Don't be confused by this decimal. That's just a period. That's just saying add these two numbers. Okay, end of the sentence. Now, you'll also see that these two spots are vacated. There's nothing there. We don't have anything um, in that spot. So um, one little helpful tip is that you can add um, zeros so that both numbers have the same number of decimal points. So add in a few zeros here. And now it's a little bit easier to work with. Nine plus zero is nine. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry my 1. And bring my decimal straight down. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 3 is 5. And 2 plus nothing is 2. 
So I'd get 25.159 or 25 and 159 thousandths. Okay. So hopefully uh, you got that as well. And hopefully that's a little bit of a review for you. Okay, let's continue with example two and subtracting. These are actually very similar and follow the same set of rules. So it says subtract 5.508 minus 3.174. Again, these two numbers are kind of nice because they have the same um, number of digits in their place values. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Kind of easy to deal with this when we've got this situation. We don't need to add zeros. We don't need to um, line up our decimals really. They're, they're, they line up naturally for us, which is kind of nice. Okay, eight minus four would be four. Zero minus seven, I can't do. I'd borrow, make this a four, make this 10. 10 minus seven is three. 4 minus 1 is 3. Bring my decimal straight down. And 5 minus 3 will be 2. So I'd come up with 2.334. Okay. Pretty straightforward there. And for letter B, I've got 21.9 minus 1.605. Okay. Make sure to line up your decimals. 1.605. Okay, again here, um, I'm missing some um, numbers. So what I can do is I can add in zeros and it doesn't change my number at all. It's still the same number. Okay, now I need to subtract. It could be a little bit more uh, confusing now. So zero minus five, I can't do. I would need to borrow from this digit, okay? And this digit doesn't have any uh, to give, right? So I need actually um, need to borrow again. So I'd have to borrow a couple times, right? Making this eight, making this nine, and making this 10, all right? So 10 minus five now is five. Okay. Nine minus zero is nine. Eight minus six is two. Bring my decimal straight down. And 21 minus one would be 20. For a total of 20.295. And box my answer. Okay. So, um, it's pretty straightforward. Line up your decimals is the main rule to follow. Add in zeros if you don't have the same number of place values. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and try the OYOs here. Pause the video. Try these six and then see if you come up with the same answers. Okay. Hopefully you got for number one, 15.056. Number two is 23.729. Number three, 169.4. Number four is 1.01. .01. Number five is 26.995. And lastly, we've got 4.746. Okay. The one thing I don't uh, want you to forget about, and I think you should be doing on uh, your tests, is estimating um, or checking to make sure it's reasonable. Okay, when I say that, I mean um, just do it in your head quick. So 4.2 would round to four, okay, plus 10.85 uh, would round to 11. 11 plus four, give me around uh, 15. So you can already see, look, I made a simple mistake. I forgot to write my one. So it should be 15. 0 0.056. Good thing I went back and estimated or checked. That was a silly mistake. I obviously knew the answer. I just wrote it down wrong. Okay. See, I'm running down on time. We'll move on with example three when we get back. 
All right, continuing on with example three here uh, for the real life application. It says your meal at the school cafeteria costs three forty five. Your friend's meal costs three dollars ninety cents. You pay for both meals with a ten dollar bill. That was awful nice of you. How much change do you receive? Okay, so we have to think about um, the total that you pay. You're paying for yours and your friends. So we're gonna have to add those two together, and then to find out how much change we receive when we pay for a ten with a ten dollar bill, we'd have to take that ten dollars, and we'd have to subtract the total of um, your meal and your friend's meal. Okay, so let's do that. Um, your meal was 345, and we wanna add to that your friends. Okay, we come up with a total of five, 13, and seven. Seven dollars and 35 cents. Okay, we need to take um, our $10 that we paid with and subtract how much our cost was, right? So what's the difference? Well, you could use a little bit of mental math here, all right? Zero minus 35, you can't do. Let's borrow, this would be a nine, and this would then become 100. So the difference between 135 well, that would be 65, and 9 minus 7 would be 2. Okay. If you can't do that mental math there, that's okay. Um, just go about subtracting like normal. So, um, how much change do you receive? $2.65 is what you get back, or what you should get back, from um, the cashier at the cafeteria. All right, last example for the day. It says the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool is approximately rectangular. Here that pool is. Um, I got to go see it on my class trip when I was a senior. It's really cool. If you ever get the chance, um, definitely go check it out. Its width is 50.9 meters and its length is 618.44. You walk the perimeter, remember perimeter is the distance around something. Um, how many meters do you walk? Okay, and um, it says about. Okay, so you could do some rounding here. You could either round um, right away or you could round after you're done. And I'll, I'll do my rounding after I'm done here. So I got 50.9 and that would be like this side. And then this side will be the same. So I have to add to that another 50.9. And I've also got my lengths. So I've got 618.44. So 618, lining up my decimals, 0.44. And I've got another side of that's the same. So 618.44. Okay, fill in a few zeros here. And zero plus zero plus four plus four gives me eight. Nine and nine is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Carry my two and bring my decimal straight down. Two plus eight would be 10, plus eight is 18. Carry my one. Here I've got 10, 11, 12, 13. Carry my one. 6 and 6 is 12, plus one more is 13. So I get 1338.68. Since it said about, I'll round that up to 1,339. And don't forget about your label. We had meters. Okay. So that's all I've got for the notes today, guys. Remember that the biggest idea to remember when you're adding and subtracting decimals is that you just line up your decimals and go from there. Bring that decimal straight down in the answer. Hopefully uh, you caught on. If you still have questions, please come see me and let me know. We'll talk to you later.